In this video, we will see how to create a scatter plot in Tableau. So, scatter plot basically shows the relationship between two variables. So, in the column shelf and in the row shelf, we will have two variables which are of numerical data type. Then, scatter plot is used to plot data points on a horizontal and vertical axis. And the aim is to show how much one variable is affecting the another one. Here, we will see an example where we will see the relation between quantity and profit for every subcategory. So we have a subcategory dimension. Also, we have measures, profit and quantity. And we will see how quantity is influencing the profit for each subcategory. For that, let me hide this caption column. And we will take the quantity column into the x-axis. That is the column shelf. And profit into y-axis, which is the raw shelf. Now we got a single point on the plot which is basically the total profit and total quantity now we want to see this based on each subcategory for that i'm going to take this subcategory and using it on the detail mars card now we can see that for each subcategory what is the total profit and total quantity of sales achieved now we can see from the chart there are outliers there are uh, good performing subcategories, there are bad performing subcategories based on the quantity and profit value. And if we analyze each point, we can see for the subcategory copious, the profit is $55,618, which is only contributing a sales of 234. That is the quantity is 234. But if I come to the rightmost extent and which is basically subcategory binders, which is having a quantity that is the sales quantity is so much higher than that of the first subcategory which is copious but the profit that is contributed by the subcategory is not that much compared to the initial subcategory not only subcategory we can analyze based on this scatter plot also we can analyze other dimensions as well like customer name segment ship mode and all of similar dimensions we can analyze using the scatter plot now we can take an example of the customer name and let us see what is happening with the scatter plot when we use customer name customer name if i put on this detail marks card we can see that this is how each customer is contributing to the total profit based on how much quantity they are buying also in this scatter plot we will be able to plot trend lines which we can use to see the trend and all so now we can see a trend line which is showing basically the r squared value p value and how the profit is influenced by the quantity and here the r squared value is not very good it is very close to zero which is not ideal a r square value which is close to one is always good so this is not a perfectly fit line which we can use to predict the future future profit based on the quantity and uh, we can also remove the trend line if, it's, if it is not that good so we'll remove the trend line similarly we can analyze other dimensions as well also, I will show you one more tip using the scatter plot. For that, we will use the same subcategory only. I am using the subcategory. And consider that if I don't want to analyze particular subcategory or if I wanted to compare two groups of subcategory, we can create a set based on which we can compare two groups of subcategory. For that, click on the drop down next to subcategory, then create set. Now we can see a create set box is displayed from which we can create set accessories appliances let me uh, take some subcategories and create a set that is set one uh, let me rename it sorry let me name it as set one only then click on ok now we got a set one which we will use on the color let me increase the size and also change the color then it is easy to identify i will change the color to i'm sorry orange okay now we can see that two different sets i have created these sets are not created based on any conditions in mind i just simply created only to created the set only to show uh, the functionality so now we can see that we have two different sets which we can compare so this orange value correspond to a set that is uh, 
which is outside the set one and the blue one corresponds to the subcategories which are inside the set that we can identify from the tool tip uh, and now if we create a trend line we will be able to create two different trend lines for two different sets similarly there are other functionalities as well for the scatter plot we will see that in another video thank you